was a community mobilizing to help two food vendors assaulted in two separate incidents caught on video. On February 16th, a hot dog vendor was brutally attacked by a customer outside the SAP Center. Two days later, not far from the San Jose airport, another food vendor was beaten with a baseball bat. Betty Yu met up with the victims who attended today's street vendor buyout. Well, today was the day that we brought the vendors that these men attacked together for a community buyout to let them know that they are not alone. People from near and far showed their love Sunday for two San Jose street vendors who were attacked separately in two days. Video shows Kenny Ho, the owner of Intex Auto Parts, attacking Carlos Sanchez with a baseball bat. He even threatened him with a can of lighter fluid. He was arrested on charges of assault and attempted carjacking. <laughs> Saul Roconco said he was punched and kicked by a customer after he demanded a free hot dog. This attacker has yet to be identified. Shout out to Armando's bar and restaurant who came out and personally donated a good amount to these vendors. What a blessing it was today. Alex Enamorado, a street vendor activist from LA, helped organize this community buyout at the same location Carlos was recently attacked. Street vendors do not have time off, they don't have any paid leave or days off. So uh, the importance of a community buyout, it's for them to take some time off um, if they want to, uh, because they they just went through something traumatic. Saul seen on the left and Carlos on the right were both at the buyout where hundreds showed up. Carlos, he sold out in the first six minutes. Um, people are, were already lined up since 12. So by 106 p.m. he had completely sold out. So. They had to come in and bring them different batches. He was almost at tears. Yeah, I, I, he just kept saying thank you over and over and over that he's very grateful. The owner of venue yoga studio in Millbrae, Layla Kirsch, helped sponsor the buyout after seeing the news. She was inspired after seeing Alex's work on Instagram. We actually end up donating more just because it just kept on going. Thank you, Benny, the other studio. On Sunday, Intex Auto Parts posted on its Facebook page a message that read in part, I continue to be embarrassed and regretful about my actions. Yesterday, my family and I cleaned up the area for the event. We're opening up our parking lot and we put up big signs saying everyone is welcome. Beyond the legal protections afforded to street vendors in California, Alex hopes these kinds of buyouts help humanize street food vendors. They're not out here robbing and stealing. They're trying to make a living uh, in a legit manner um, as much as possible as they can. And, and they're just humble, hardworking people. No matter what city you're from, no matter what kind of business you're, you know, you come from, it's like at the end of the day, you know, we all could just help each other.